Hello, I am the Atheist Gamer, and today's trailer terror is very fucking special. How do I describe it? What would happen if Tumblr decides to make an animated show? You get this piece of shit. Jen said. Now, there is another video that I'm planning to make on Jen said. Not based on the trailer, but based on the people behind it. But for today's video, I'm only judging it based on the trailer and nothing more. So, let's just remove this giant turd off the road. This is Gen Z. So it seems like the plot involves around a group of people that share only one thing in common, which is gaming. They're moving in together like another show that will never be mentioned ever again. So our main character involves a red-headed trans girl, a stereotypical black man, which I swear he's just there to be a token black person, a angry cisgender straight white man, at least assuming that he's straight. I ain't gonna pop you in the dick. <sighs> ah, yo. Let me get this out of the way up top. I hate people. And he comes off to be an asshole. And an Asian girl whose personality is pretty much the blandest of them all. Along with that, there are two other characters, one which is a stereotypical Mexican, which I assume he must be the landlord, and the other looks like a clone of Zoe Quinn. Don't get me wrong, a stereotype can be funny if not good. Like, you know, South Park, they make a couple stereotypes every now and then. But at least they do it in a funny manner. Here, most of these people, personalities, or either A, complete assholes, or B, they have no personality whatsoever. They're as plain and boring as a loaf of bread. That's about it. And the only person, ironically, that has more personality than everybody else is the main character, Shauna. But even then, her personality seems to be only a slight improvement compared to the others. Just look on how she introduces herself. It's nothing like coming of age in a world where all the good Twitter names are gone because you were born too late, jobs are something you only see in 80s movies, and diet soda gives you diabetes. That wasn't even funny. At most, it was just plain ranting and complaining and shit. You want to hear something funny? Okay. I'm no expert in this, but I got this. You know how diarrhea can be a pain in the ass both in a metaphorical way and a literal way? Like you're just walking down the street and then all of a sudden that one food decides to fuck up your entire body, so now you have to go to the bathroom to either vomit or take a shit. You don't find a bathroom, you're gonna end up either A, vomiting on your favorite shirt, or B, taking a shit in your pants. Either way, it's not gonna be pretty. And even when you do find a bathroom, may it be from some restaurant, or if it's in your own goddamn home, it's gonna be a major pain in the ass, because it hurts coming out. You don't know when it's going to end. That's, that's the scary thing about diarrhea. You don't know when it's going to end. Like, you think you're done? Oh, no, 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 no. Your body tells you you have to go back inside that toilet to take another shit again and again and again and again. Especially when you wake up in the middle of the night, it's a real pain in the ass. Again, both in a metaphorical way and a literal way. <laughs> and then it's even going to hurt more when you eat chili. Having chili and diarrhea is the absolute worst. Because it hurts coming in and it's going to hurt even more coming out. It's like your ass started smoking cigarettes and something like that. You know how it, how it feels? You know, after you're done taking the shit, it's still gonna hurt. Like, if Shaquille O'Neal decided to spread your ass cheeks open and decides to stick his hot dick inside you, but before he did that, he would stick his dick inside of an oven for like an hour and then decides to brand you with his dick. It hurts. It fucking hurts. And that only happened to me at least once and I couldn't fall asleep for another hour. <sighs> See? I I'm no expert in stand-up comedy, but I'm sure a few people actually enjoy what I have to say. Also, they seem very proud to have a transgender woman to be voicing their project. 
and they claim to be the very first trans woman to be in an animated show, despite the fact there is counter evidence for that. History of the world to feature a transgender actress in a lead role. Whoa, you're trans? You didn't know? Being trans shows huge strength of mind. No pun intended, but it takes balls. I'm thinking of replacing my balls with candy and turning the whole thing into a Pez dispenser. That is fucking disgusting, not funny. Also, I really need to point out that they have an Alea Alcom poster. Not that I have a problem with spreading awareness for suicide victims, but it seems to be a major hypocrisy going on. I already mentioned this in my video about Leia Alcorn, but I'll make this short and simple. Leia Alcorn's death was nothing special, but for some odd reason, feminists have put Leia Alcorn along with um, that one girl, uh, Amanda Todd, on this high-ass pedestal where their death should be noted. But... There are other people who suffer the exact same thing, especially men, considering that they're more likely to commit suicide than women. But it seems that feminists won't even bat an eye to that. At most, they'll say, oh, I'm sorry, and then walk away. But if it's a woman, or even, you know, some minority, then all of a sudden they lose their fucking minds! Did I forget to mention about the animation? It seems like it was made by the same people who made the CDI games of The Legend of Zelda. And yet, for some odd reason, this is going to be a TV show. If this was supposed to be on the web, then I guess I could give it a pass, but this animation looks like it was done on a very cheap computer. At best, it should be animated in a very old CD game. Just look at it. There are black bars on the top and bottom, but the characters are sometimes in the black area. So I'm not sure if this is an animation error or if they did it intentionally. But either way, this product should at least fix those errors because it makes no sense. If they're going to have black bars, at the very least, make sure they're inside the black bars. And the only reason they should be outside the black bars is if they're trying to break the fourth wall only for comedic purposes, and I doubt that this show is ever going to break the fourth wall, at least not in a funny way. Overall, this show is going to flop, because these people are focusing more on diversity than performance. And do not get me wrong, I have no problem with diversity. If you make a character that is happened to be a trans woman and she ends up making a few friends that are part of other minorities and the animation is at least passable and the characters aren't one dimensional or at least something that you just pull out of your fucking ass then yeah I say it might have been a good show. This show is barely going to last seven episodes. It's gonna be off the air as quickly as Rob on NBC. Seriously which station is going to even show it? Fox? NBC? ABC? The CW? The Hub? Come on! What station would be this stupid? I don't hate the show because it is full of diversity I hate the show because it values diversity over quality. I am the atheist gamer. Keep gaming on, fellas.